Hello out there, and welcome back to another uh, episode of College Confidential. I'm Jimmy Birch. I'm Carlos Mendez. And we're going to kick around some of the uh, hot top topics in college football this week, uh, nationally and locally. One of which are those uh, fighting TCU Horn Frogs, 2-0, and guaranteed to stay undefeated for another week because they're off, and uh, owning the uh, designation of the most efficient defense in the nation uh, based on an ESPN metric. Uh, is this really the best defense in the country, Carlos? Well, I don't think there's any way to say that unless you're following the ESPN metric rankings. <laughs> exactly. I don't see a lot of T-shirts out there with the best metric defense in the country right uh, no, now. No, you don't. You don't. But, but you're 2-0. and But they so. are 2-0. and They have won twice. And Gary Patterson has not gone off the deep end yet about his defense. So, so that tells me happy something. With that tells me yeah. something. He's, I think he likes what he sees there. And he should. And he should. But, you know, this week, like you mentioned, they're off. They're not going to lose this week. Next week is SMU. And who knows what that'll end up being? October's the real, yeah. the real yeah. deal. I, I forget the exact schedule, but all four of their October games against yeah, Big Twelve with, people that uh, can move the ball. Oklahoma at Baylor, Tech here, Oklahoma State here, something like that. So we'll know then, won't we? Yeah, yeah. they'll know something after yeah. October. But they do have some young guys playing. But they're not the only team that has that luxury. No. I mean, you've seen some of these freshmen around the country oh, already, man. right? Uh, yeah, I. I if you had to start picking your freshman uh, All-America team today, you'd start with uh, a Texan as a captain on each side of the ball. You'd put Miles Garrett from uh, Texas A&M, an Arlington Martin graduate. He's already got five and a half sacks, leading the SEC in sacks. Heaven knows how many more he may pick up against SMU this week in an absolute mismatch. And uh, at Baylor, KD Cannon is uh, already averaging 33 yards a catch got five touchdowns I believe and you know and it's 33 yards a catch over 14 catches it's not like he's got two receptions and uh, you know with some of Baylor's early injuries he has stepped up and shown that they got incredible depth at that position for Bryce Petty to work with going forward um, it, you know it'll be interesting uh, another kid from outside the region uh, Nick Wilson of uh, Arizona is one of the nation's top rushers, but the two local kids really, I, I think, are going to make a lot of uh, national splash as uh, this week and this season goes along. And in terms of splash, it's really not a big splashy week in terms of Big 12 because there's just not that many people playing. But last week was pretty good for the Big 12. Yeah, they went 4-3, and three and they, I guess they can thank Iowa State and their kicker. That's they kind can. of a swing game. That was. That, you know, that was an over-the-topper. That Yeah, it turned it into a winning weekend against the Power 5 Conference for the Big 12, which is really going to help it, I think, come committee time because at least you know the conference can stack up. It's not right. shooting itself in the foot. It's not you know clearly below anybody. It's not clearly above anybody. But it's not the Big 10, 1 in 10 in a similar situation. Yeah, it's certainly yeah. a respectable conference. So I thought that was a big weekend mm -hmm. for the conference. I was watching every score, and I got to watch a couple of those games. Yeah. And I thought TCU made a statement with its blowout of Minnesota. Yeah. The Horn Frogs, yeah. you know, who may be an upper half team in the Big 12, were just clearly superior to a similar type team in the Big 10. And then, Conference. you know, they're an upper half team in the Big 10. And that kind of says a little bit about the Big 10. But, uh, yeah, who are you watching? You know, this week we got uh, K State, uh, Auburn. I guess it be a heck of an interesting game. Who do you like? Uh, can K State pull that one off? Yeah, they can pull it off. They've got the talent to do it. And I, I thought it was interesting how Bill Snyder's approaching this game. He, he's treating it like it's not a big game at all. Like it's just mm -hmm. another game that happens to be on Thursday night on national television. <laughs> just but, like all the others. No. But, you know, if there's anybody who can find a way to win this game, it's a guy like Bill yeah. Snyder, who's seen yeah. every trick in the yeah. book, pulled every trick in the book, and I think he's got a good team. He does. I mean, I, there's nobody, I, there's no coach I respect more. He's absolutely the best, and with 12 days to prepare, you can't rule him out. I still kind of think Auburn wins, wins close, because they just have more talent. But I, if I had to w pick one guy to coach a game for me, if my life depended on it and had extra time to do it, I, I would want it to be Bill Snyder. So... Are you going to go to that A&M SMU game? Oh, Lord, yes. Yes, I'll be there <laughs> with a very heavily uh, happy A&M crowd. Um, you know, I mean, really the big question is, okay, Baylor beat SMU 45 to nothing. If poll people, will A&M trump that? And uh, 
Yeah, they probably will. Yeah, yeah they, they have probably to, will. They have to trump it because these teams, no matter what the coaches say, are measuring themselves against each other. The committee's going to stack them up against yes. each other sure. in December. All so this do, matters. Yeah, all this you, will help the committee. You do have to top mm -hmm. uh, what Baylor did in that game. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, coming in, we got the uh, you know, it's going to come down to who's the best uh, conference. You got the uh, SEC, you got the Pac-12. They're at the clear top. Uh, that that'll be decided later. I got to give a slight edge to the SEC right now with uh, you know five of the nation's top ten teams this week. But hey, that could change on a weekly basis. So. Yeah, I guess uh, seven national championships have got to account for something. I guess I, we'll take that into account. But. I think that behind closed doors, they ought to kick that around a little bit. But uh, thanks for you uh, dialing us up this week. You guys have a great week, and uh, catch us next time on College Confidential.